Hey everyone, so today I am going to be showing you how to make this Christmas bunting is what it's called. I don't, <laughs> I didn't know that that was the correct word until I looked it up, but it's really easy and I thought it was really cute and festive. So you're just gonna take any Christmas fabric that you have. I just have this leftover from dog jackets and you are going to cut out the triangle. I just taped two note cards together and cut out a triangle shape and that is how I got this. Um, so you can use normal paper and just cut out a triangle as big as you want it and yeah so you just lay it out on the fabric um, I pinned it down so it wouldn't move and then um, from there I just used the fabric that I had already cut out the triangle that I had already cut out to use as my pattern instead of having to pin the paper down each time and it also lays a lot better so you're just gonna keep cutting these out and the good thing about cutting out triangles is when you cut one out you get a second one as well as you can see here so you're just going to go along and cut out as many as you think i believe i cut out about seven or eight in each color it just depends on how long you want your bunting to be and so when i'm done with one i just folded it back up and moved on to a different fabric i believe i had four different fabrics um, in total to choose from and it's really easy if you go to the fabric store the fabric is usually on sale and if it's not on sale um, there's always coupons I recommend getting the Joann's app um, and getting coupons and you really don't need that much fabric I have a lot because I was making um, stockings last year and I make dog jackets so I have a lot of fabric but you could get away with having um, a fourth of a yard that would be plenty um, and so yeah I'm just continuing to cut these all out and it's really simple I'm using zigzag um, scissors because it prevents fraying you don't have to use zigzag scissors if you don't have them normal scissors will work perfectly fine and yeah it's really easy um, and I think it looks really cute and festive and it's a cool DIY that I feel like anybody can do then you're gonna need bias tape um, you can also get this at the fabric store if you go in and you don't know where it is just ask somebody that's working there and they'll show you exactly where it is I believe it's four dollars for a pack and the bias tape is three yards long so you get quite a bit and what you're gonna do is just shove your little triangles right in between the bias tape and sew along the bias tape. Like I said, this is really simple, really easy and fast. And if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't feel like hand sewing this, you could easily glue it with fabric glue or super glue and that would work totally fine. Um, the only thing with super glue is that you're gonna have to glue one side and then flip it over and glue the other side if you don't want it to be open on the back, if that makes <laughs> any sense. And then what I did to space the triangles out um, on the bias tape was I showed you that I used my finger but I ended up using a pin and so I just spaced them out um, the length of one pin along the bias tape so here I'm just tucking in the triangle inside the bias tape like that and then I'm pinning it down so it will not move while I'm trying to sew it and that is really it if you don't have pins and you don't plan on sewing it it would be really easy to just um, measure it out stick in the triangle and then hot glue it down as you go and that would probably be a lot faster um, but I am sewing it on the sewing machine since I have one and I think it looks cleaner but here is the finished product with all my triangles strung in and I made sure that I um, alternated which patterns that I did so there weren't two of the same thing next to each other and then I'm just sticking it in the sewing machine and sewing a simple straight stitch along the entire thing and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you do this send me pictures um, on Instagram or on Twitter and I would love to see that my links will be below for my um, usernames and yeah I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.